Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to do another collective energy reading for my collective. Hope all is well with you all. Um, please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let's keep this channel growing. I hope you like the messages. I hope they resonate with you, and I hope, more importantly, that they are helpful to you in your, in your journey. Okay, and if you are interested in a personal reading, you can use my email in the description below to contact me and then we can arrange to set up our uh, meeting. I got to get a new, um, what do you call it, scheduling service because it was about to cause me to miss a meeting and I didn't like how it kept logging me out. So right now we're just going to stick with the email. And again, if you're interested in a reading, reach out. All right, Spirit, give me some overall energy for the collective right what's going on my people okay so we got clarity and truth with the sun the sun is the brightest card of the deck when we use the tarot so i'm gonna take this as something happy oh we got knowledge i'm gonna say knowledge wisdom and understanding because books represent that uh oh we got a ticking time bomb though something is explosive what's going on I feel like somebody discovered something, got clarity on something that was deep. Maybe something that was hidden from them. Now they want to change a different direction. Tell me more, Spirit. Uh-oh. Somebody is about to exit through a portal. Somebody is exiting a portal. And we got a sign. I can't remember. I only know my sign, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I know my, <laughs> my rising sign and my uh, sun sign. But whenever I see these, uh, symbols. I'm like, which one is that? Scorpio or is it that the uh, <laughs> I'll be remembering. Alright, but let's see what the uh, author of these car, uh, these little charms said. They said, the sun, yeah, good fortune, enlightenment, materials, happiness, and success. That was past energy. And we have the book, book, excuse me, and that would be you need to research, study, or go back to school. So somebody could be trying to educate themselves at this time. But then we have the ticking time bomb. Uh, destruction, liberation, tower moment, unforeseen change. So see, something is definitely about to go off. Like it's it's brewing in the background. You know, kind of like a, a grenade. When you pull the pin, you got a few seconds to get out of the area to not be impacted by that. You know what I mean? And then we got the ship wheel, positive change, turn of fate. But that's in a challenge position. So uh, somebody is trying to change the, the course and direction of their life. And they may be having some challenges in going the direction that they want to go or that they need to go. Um, we have Pi. It says, for us to be able to enter and go to the gate to unity, we must have a clear, must, we have to be, I'm sorry, we have to clear it over Come our duality. And then what sign is that? Oh, Virgo. Oh, wow. I, I know I'd be messing up these signs. So, Virgo represents service. Somebody needs to be in service to others. Maybe that's where they shine. Or maybe being in service to others will ground them in their reality. Um, I don't know. But, something's about to change. And I feel like Oh, I got it. Spirit said, um, someone got some light shine on them of some information that was hidden and is causing them to want to destroy something that currently exists. Now, this could be a relationship. Uh, this could be a job. And I don't mean like going there as a mass shooter. I, I mean like... Maybe they want to quit the job. If it's a job, they, they just need, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Maybe they're getting passed over, over for promotions and it became clear that they weren't going to get the promotion. Somebody's like, I'm done. If this is a relationship, a romantic one, I'm done. If this is a family ship, somebody's like, I'm getting out of here, I'm done. Or you getting out of here, something like that. Done, right? And then they want to change, but the change is not going to happen as easy or in the way they thought it should, right? So there's a change in the destiny. It's change in plans, so to speak. Maybe not so much a change of destiny, but a change in plans, right? This is causing a shift. 
but it's a difficult shift. And that is what this Pluto retrograde has given us, a difficult shift in perspective and in direction and in understanding and unpacking what's happening, the people that are part of our lives. Um, you know, there may be a female eclipse from someone's life, and it could be female to female, not necessarily a relationship, could be a friendship or a business partner, but there's some sort of eclipse where there's a change in uh, um, oh, and I feel like it's coming with the moon, the changes of the moon. So that's why I felt like it's a female. There's a change happening in loyalties and in, you know, what you thought people represented in your life. And then you got this portal right here. And when I think of portal, the first portal I think of is the mother's womb. The mother's womb is a portal to earth. You know, when you, however you come out, whether you come out through vaginal delivery or you come out through a c-section that womb is your temporary portal to this earth because you are a soul that incarnates into a body right and you reach this plane through that mother's womb and then something about service with this Virgo so we're going um I'm going to clarify I'm going to get more let me see I don't know what I want oh so I did a little homework, homemade cards. Um, don't try to read my doctor handwriting, okay? Because I don't want you to hurt your head. Let me read it because I understand my scribble. I channeled messages as I uh, wrote these cards out. So I know what I'm saying. Um, at least I know what I meant <laughs> when I said it. Uh, before I realized uh, what a couple cards, I was writing them upside down. But it doesn't matter because they're two-sided. You know, reversal, I should say. Something about me. I think it's the duality in me. The Gemini, Sagittarius energy I got going on. I love reverse cards. I got a vice versa deck on two sides. I got an opposition deck. I'm about to get another one called something in between. I don't know. But I kind of love having the duality on the card. And however it falls, it gives me that extra, oh, this is what this means. I like reading intuitively too, but that I love duality. Even my little homemade deck is two sided, y'all. And that's just me channeling names and things, you know. All right, Spirit. Tell me about this song. What is this person? What is the clarity this person got, Spirit? That was fell out. Okay, what is that? Okay, so wounded warrior. It says, uh, this is the nine of wands or nine of clubs. Tired, strong, fighting for a long time. So this is how it fell out. So somebody has been tired and they they see why they have been so tired. Like, you know, somebody might have been so distracted by trauma and drama that they didn't understand. Like it's somebody in survival mode that always just feels like they're going through something. They don't understand that they're not supposed to be. So they're just tired. And now they're getting the clarity of where those wounds come from or where the heaviness or the burden is. Tell me more about the books. What did they uncover? What did, are they learning? They've been crying over spilled milk, regret, disappointment, and victimized. Okay, so now it's, it's getting a little deeper for this person. Like, whoever this is for, this is probably why this bomb is here because somebody is like, look, I'm tired, I'm wounded, I'm disappointed, I want to be over it. Hey, this is a heavy, this is heavy energy. I hope it has a good outcome. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords, New Beginning, Healing from Hopelessness. So this is like the Ten of Swords in reverse. So somebody is like, I want it to be over. I'm done with the betrayal. I'm done with being devastated. I'm done. Like I've been, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm disappointed. That, that hasn't changed. I am currently disappointed, but underlying i just want it to be over so somebody is choosing to uh release or detach they might be disassociating so if you're dealing with somebody who is like not seeming like they really are processing what's happening to them they could be disassociating with it kind of not recognizing that this pain belongs to them because of the fact that they are the ones experiencing it and that they need to process it 
So if you're, if you're dealing with somebody like that or you're the one dealing with that, you know, seek a therapist that understands. Don't get married to a therapist, right? And that Spirit told me to give you this message, right? There are people who go to therapists, get a little comfortable with them. But sometimes those therapists aren't the best. I, I'm a, I agree on therapy, but if it's potentially harmful to your me- mental health, you don't have to stay with that person just because you started with that person. Now, you also got to be honest with yourself too. Are you taking advice? Are you um, really being honest? with your situation so it's kind of a precarious situation because you have to be responsible and they have to be responsible but it also needs to be a good balanced mix of that and that takes a little time but if you start off with somebody and you start to feel abused uh and i'll give you an example you go to a therapist and you start unpacking the fact that your rich father will use money to control you and then you give examples And your therapist starts saying, well, I don't think that's that bad. Or, you know, they give you opinions and they say, well, you know, it's not that bad. Like they don't, they don't validate your experience because even if you've come, you come from money, people can still abuse you with that money. It's called financial abuse and it's real, right? And if you get someone that you're dealing with and they invalidate your experience, that is not the person you should be talking to because they don't understand your point of view. Now, there are people who are entitled, but you, there's a thin line between that and somebody needs to take the time to understand who you are and not pass judgment. So use your own discernment, right? But therapy is a good option to support you if you're going through something that's wounding you and wearing you out and you know, full of disappointment and you feel like a victim. Tell me about the oh, wheel of fate. Well, that one to come out. Okay, so the wheel of fate is trying to spin you toward ten, ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds is a ten of coins, right? It says legacy, legacy, <laughs> legacy, love, family, money, and support. That's the challenge position. That's the lesson. This is where you you're supposed to be moving away from that, ending whatever that victimized state was. And move us to something more harmonious, right? But there's the challenge, right? How do you do that? I don't know if this situation caused you so many burdens that you feel like you have attachments and entanglements. You might, but you need some help unpacking. That's what I'm saying. So we got the Queen of Swords. It says divorcee, widow, smart, will detach, cut you off, don't waste time. So... You know, I feel like that's what spirit is saying. You got to get rid of your duality and then you got to focus on the direction that you should be going in. This is the kind of energy that gives, I will hear you out, but I've had the experience. Now I'm more intelligent and wise because of the experience I felt and I know what I need to do. So I'm just going to detach now, right? Because I'm not going to hold on to that disappointment and that grief. I'm not. Bottom of the deck. Let's see. Waiting for an opportunity. Expansion, growth, and possibilities. That's a third club. So, you know, maybe this is like one of those situations where someone put in their resume for a job and they're waiting to hear back and they haven't heard. And it's been a little time. You're waiting. But you did. You took the action steps to do that, right? Um... That's an act of service to yourself because you're taking steps that are needed to serve your better good. Spirit will reward you for taking action steps. Now, maybe if you only put out one application, you need to consider a few more just as backups. Not because you don't believe you won't get it, but maybe you need something in the meantime. If you don't have something now, maybe you lost your job and you need a job, right? And it could be a temporary job. You know, for a short time or a good time, not for a long time. You know, something that will hold you over until you get where it is that you really are meant to be. 
So maybe you do, I don't know, Lyft or uh, Uber Eats or something like that. Some type of something to sustain you. But don't stay in a waiting energy. Like act, just be active, not just waiting, right? So that means take your focus, put it on yourself and do something different to earn. Go online and find out what jobs you could do remote if you can't drive, if you don't have transportation. Or go on, if you have a license, go on a tour or app. And if you're old enough, rent a car and then drive, you know, uh, take people out and drive them or whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's money on the table. There's opportunities that will sustain you, but you got to make the steps. You got to take the steps. And I feel like you're taking, a, you took a step toward some type of independence from this situation. You were just, you're detaching. That's for sure. All right. Tell me more spirit. Tell me about this wounded war in energy. Yeah, King of Swords. So we got a King of Queens. So we got a counterpart situation here, but they may be divorced. But, you know, the King of Swords upright is someone intelligent, smart. They are the, they're the judge, they're the, the police, they, they're law, right? They may represent law enforcement. This is also a detached individual because they are head over heart, meaning they, they're here to do their duty and they're not caught up in their emotions. They don't operate from emotions. They operate from their headspace, mostly. You know, they have emotions, right? They exist, but they operate from their headspace. And look at this. There's three of, of, of swords in reverse. So the three of four swords in first reverse is saying, you don't want to, you don't, I don't want to say that. But there may be some of y'all, a small amount of y'all that don't want to heal. And I'm, I can't deny that reality because there are some people who, like to let that like they prefer to stay in their victimhood they prefer not to take action when they need to take action they um it's kind of like something's right there in front of them and they should take it but they won't they won't take the opportunity but i'm also getting that this is like enough is enough and i need to heal i need to release this I need to let this go. I need to mend my heart now. And um, Three of Swords in Reverse gives me, um, I'm coming out of that major loss and disappointment energy. Oops. I got two cards here. So, this is definitely a, a family situation that needs to end. It says, new beginning, healing from hopelessness. The hopelessness was that this family situation that you wanted to work out, is not working um and you don't want to fight anymore you just want to release it you want something else that will work for you, you want to make yourself happier you want to you want to go where you're actually supported where real love is that's what spirit said it's not about the money no more it's the money that will just naturally come with the right environment the right support And I feel like the person in this, the wounded warrior is this king of swords because he was trying to do the right thing. Head over heart decisions, trying to be responsible. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah. So the king of swords, I feel like that's him. His challenge is to reconcile somewhere where he felt that love, support, and nurturing like you feel when you're a child. This could be a previous situation um, that he experienced in childhood, teenagehood, or some, some long time ago. And I feel like th that, you know, they, they have a comparison now. This is a, that comparison energy is like, I, I had a ten of coins situation in reverse, and I want to move toward a ten of coins. Uh, ten of coins situation where I was happy. So I feel like this person is not going to somewhere new. It, they've gone to where they've had the good experience, where they've experienced real love. And wherever they were recently or right now, they're experiencing a lot of pain, a lot of grief. They could be being taken advantage of because of their loyalty and their and their um 
the spirit said the uh responsibility of this person you know somebody could be taking advantage of their responsibility their intelligence their ability to solve problems and you know keep things in intact but let me see what this queen of swords energy is about justice right so bottom of the deck yeah so um spirit said don't let anybody manipulate you out your dreams that this king of swords is getting help from a queen of swords and justice meaning the spirit of justice you know the laws of cause and effect are in play right now to release this person from the pain that they're experiencing with this family this old family situation there's a new beginning on the horizon this is about to be torn asunder like you know starting from the bottom and in the top dropping you ever seen a building that gets demolished and they blow it up and then you see the the like the top of it just sink down into the bottom this is what's happening like the the so-called structure that kept something afloat Maybe his energy that kept, kept something afloat until he got enlightened about what he was responsible and obligated to. All of a sudden now, it's being torn apart. And the challenge is to reconnect with those that really do love this person. He's, he's, he's waiting for something, but I feel like Spirit is trying to guide this person to stop waiting and to take action. But I feel like they also may feel with this magician in the verse reverse is that they not they don't have all the tools they need you know this could be uh this person could be feeling insecure um however justice is on their side so you know spirit said they will cut you off they will detach and justice right that is what what needs to happen so in order for this king of swords energy to go forward they now have to cut somebody off or cut that situation, cut that uh, ten of coin situation off that they were um, obligated and responsible to. Tell me more about justice. Tell me more what justice looks like. Wow. So what justice looks like, a new love beginning, the ace of sword. This person starting fresh with new love. Now, it could be this old situation I didn't want to go back to, but it's going to feel like a brand new experience. That is justice. To have love is justice because this tore them up. What's going on currently is uh, like mind bending. You know, that's for a lack of another word, right? It's a whole complete mind. You, you insert the blank, right? And this person said, you know what? I've been praying. Spirit, bless me. I need love in my life. Maybe they were materialistic in the past. Maybe they were competitive in the past. They don't want to be that anymore. They don't want to make just head over heart decisions anymore. They want love in their life. Because whatever they chose, uh, it really tore them up. Wounded warrior. They learned a lot. This is lessons. They learned lessons in, their, in the love life. They learned that whoever they said there was family, to them, or maybe it wasn't even blood family, we're not family. You know, this, this person learned and they had something else. So this, trust me when I tell you this is not new. Somebody had the ability to compare and make a choice. I don't see the lover's card here, but it don't need to be here for me to know. They have the ability with the justice card and the ace of cups. There's a choice. And someone is choosing love now. They're not choosing the drama anymore. They're not choosing the money anymore. That was what glitters is gold anyway. It was fake. Now, you know what I mean? Now they want to recover. We got three tens here. There's in major endings occurring currently. Tell me more about this. Uh, three source spirit. Yeah. This five of cups, three uh, uh, three of swords in reverse energy had this person feeling like they couldn't, they had no direction to work on themselves. 
like no clue what the next step. This could this person could go to a college and be standing there with their mouth open, like I I don't know what I should do. You know, go to counseling service. I don't know what I should take. I don't know what I like. And they're like, but okay, did you do your phosphor yet? Um, what's that? Okay, we we got we gotta start there. Do you have this information? Uh, no. Where can you get that from? Oh, my three of swords could give me that, which they probably won't, right? So I'm just saying, like, this person <laughs> should be educating themselves with this Eight of Pentacles, right? You see more books here, but it's in reverse. So this person doesn't know what step to take next. And then we have, um, how, I feel like it's the family. It is definitely a family situation that is a roadblock to this person. They are the the... They could be the catalyst for change, but they are the stumbling block toward change, right? They're not they're not helping this person figure out life. As a matter of fact, they want to I feel like a crab in the barrel mentality. And so they're trying to keep this person stuck with them. They don't want to see this person move on, do better. They just want them to be there to fix fix their problems and solve their dramas. That's what they want. Mm. Tell me more about the Six of Cups with the Ten of Coins. Oh my goodness, yeah. Somebody is really in their feelings, like, really in their feelings. This is Ten, this is, uh, ten Lord. This is the King of Cups. He desires love now. He wants, this is that King moving into his heart space. From his head space to his heart space. And that is the challenge. Like, oh, I've never been here before. I feel like somebody said, I never knew a love like this before. I, I'm hearing um, Stephanie Mills. Is this Stephanie Mills? I never felt love this before. Yeah. So somebody is like, I want that love I had from my past. This could also be somebody reminiscing over their childhood. I really feel that. It could be reminiscing on how it used to feel when they were nurtured. You know, this could even be like somebody who experienced it, um, their stability from grandparents and aunties and uncles in the community, and they just missed that. Or this could be a love situation or a soul tribe situation where somebody just remembers I could compare. It was nice when I went over to my cousin's house because... At my cousin's house, they fed me all the time, and, and we, we took trips, and we had fun every time we went there. Maybe they went there in the summertime, and they knew what love felt like. You know, they saw the parents were loving, the kids were loving, and they didn't feel like an outsider. They knew they were an outsider because they weren't part of that unit, but they had something to compare it to. And it started in childhood. It started way, way back. So whatever family they used to go back to was miserable. And now this person is like, uh-uh, I can't do this no more. I got to get a divorce. I, I got to divorce this situation. Person, place, thing, family, whatever. I got to let it go, cut it off, detach from it. I need justice to happen. I need cause and effect to happen from whatever they did to me. And then I need to go on with my heart. Now, this person could or couldn't care less about closure. They just want to close. I, I really feel like this person is like, I don't want to fight with you no more. Five of Wands in reverse. I don't care what you got to say no more. I don't care how. This is somebody like, I, I'm not I'm not doing, I'm rebelling. That's what I'm getting. I'm rebelling and I'm choosing me with this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Swords spirit. Wow. All right, I wasn't going to take it, but three cards popped out in this order. Somebody, seven of cups in reverse, is clear what their options are. So if they thought they had options, they don't want any other options. Seven of cups is like, I know what I need now. I want to heal this situation. I, I have hope on where I want to go. I know where I want to be. Because the lovers is also here. These are two major arcana. Somebody's like, I know what I want now. If I never knew it before, I absolutely know it now. 
Now, do they have some hurdles to overcome? Yes, they do, because the magician is reversed. So there might be some spell work or some manipulation involved trying to slow down the opportunities of this king. But this king, I feel like, is determined to get where they want to go and be with who they want to be with. Spirit put all three of those out for me. Bottom of the deck is what? Yeah. So I feel like this king, king of uh, swords, cups, is feeling, um, Spirit said defeated, but that ain't it. I feel like they think their cup of love will not be received. Now. If they were the ones that caused this for themselves, meaning they did it to themselves in the relationship, then yeah, it's a possibility. But they have, they want to make an offer. They want justice. They want to cut off. This, that, this person is going to cut it off anyway. They're going to seek their heart. They, I just feel like they're a little insecure right now about if their love offer will be received. They're moody. Uh, they may be in their head and they have a script in their head that is not conducive to, um, you know, it's kind of like if you have a family wound, right, and you grow up with somebody who constantly puts you down, either in, in front of people or behind the scenes, you just hear that you're not good enough uh, trope in your head over and over again. This person's self-esteem is shot. I don't care what they look like. I don't care what they act like. I don't care if they got all kind of bravado and I'm the man. It's or don't, I'm the woman. Take it how it resonates. But inside deep, they have these deep-seated insecurities that block them from their joy and their happiness. But I feel like with the help of justice, with the help of spirit, they're going to overcome that and be able to present an offer of love because now they want to cut off what doesn't serve them and then all and then stand in love because now they know what they want maybe they didn't know before but they know now and i don't feel like this is a this is a you know for my collective the part of my collective that don't want their person back i feel like this is somebody who's willing to accept someone to come back to them and make it right if they are going to resonate in the energy of love I'm not getting the energy of uh, of a time waster. I'm, I'm just getting a lot of insecurities with this person and them believing that whatever they offer may not be accepted. So, you know, but this is this is up to this person to come to stand in their power, to overcome those parent wounds that got them feeling like I'm not worthy. Or I won't be accepted. And I don't really feel like this is for you to do. This is them to take that step of courage for themselves to walk in their own power and, and just take the chance. I feel like they will. I just feel like they will, even though overall they're underneath the undercurrent of their emotions. They feel really vulnerable. So this is a message for those like, you know, be gentle with your person. They're coming through with an offer. Um, you know, stay in your ground and hold on, maintain your boundaries, right? But hear them out if you can. Hear them out. Listen to what they have to say. Let, let them speak without judgment, you know. And then, you know, you speak your piece. You know, I don't really get this is the energy of somebody that did you wrong. I feel like this is the energy of somebody who's very insecure, wants you, wants to come towards you, but got to get out of a situation. I don't know if this is love, right? This could be a friendship. This could be a platonic relationship. I don't know. I know that this is a person who loves you, collective, or loves the community because this, this, is, this is a family situation. So this could be the cousin, right? A long lost cousin that was abused and didn't tell you what was going on and they just decided I'm going to go toward the family that showed me love all my life and I'm going back to my cousin you know or whomever this family is because I really feel like it's a childhood thing and they got shown where love was mm. well that's your message collective take it how it resonates um 
like hit click share and subscribe to the channel please and thank you click that like button y'all peace